Hello, my name is John Crichton. I'm the seventh Earl of Earn, and a hugely warm welcome from Crumb Castle, where I am currently in our library. And we are coming live from Crumb Castle, which is the ancestral seats of the Earls of Earn. Now, I was asked a minute ago about the history and why we're here. Well, we came from Scotland in the early 1600s um, and was known as Ulster Scots from Crichton Castle um, in Midlothian, just outside Edinburgh. And we settled here, as I said, in the early 1600s and married um, a gentleman's daughter called Bishop Spottiswood's daughter, um, who owned the lands of Crum. And from there, we settled and lived um, to this present day in County Fermanagh. Thank you. Um, so I really appreciate, actually, th this week has been outstanding. Good. Uh, being with you, I've learned so much. You've been so welcoming into your home, I might add. Not at all. Um, this is not, I'd like to point out, a hotel. This is definitely a home where you're made to feel welcome. So, And on that point, um, one of the things that resonated with me is the relationship that you've got with the people that are, are living on your land effectively yeah. and working with you. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that's key to my business is how leaders should nurture their people. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that resonated with me was the way that you've got that relationship with your people and uh, or particularly during the potato famine mm -hmm. and how you managed to overcome that. So could you talk to me a little bit about that and how you feel that's actually helped your relationships? Absolutely. Well, um, Crum back in the day before the National Trust was a thriving, um, you know, community with families who had lived on the estate for many years, who served what was known as the big house, so mm -hmm. the Crichton family. Um, the potato famine, um, which was obviously a, a very stressful time, um, our family must have felt, um, you know, they needed to do something. So they built a folly in the middle of the lake called Gad Island, mm -hmm. Tower, um, and that was to give employment to the locals who were obviously suffering hugely uh -huh. at that time. And I think that's just the way our family is. Um, you know, there's a huge um, uh, camaraderie between people who are kind enough to work for us and the family, and I think it's all down to mutual respect mm -hmm. no one is better than anybody and we're now living in modern times mm -hmm. where you know it's really important to have a balance and a very good working relationship and without being funny the people that work for us and the people you're seeing this week um you know are actually I, i'd like to call them friends mm -hmm. um you know we work hard and we play hard and mm -hmm. that's the most important thing but gone are the days where you know you you treat people um, which we've never done, but mm -hmm. it has been known that, you know, back in the day, mm -hmm. um, the team, as I call them, but they yeah. were known as servants in those days, were, mm -hmm. were treated very harshly. Mm -hmm. And I think that is wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and that is why I hope we have a good team here, because we look after them, we respect them, they respect us, and we work together mm -hmm. to make the castle thrive. Fantastic. And uh, the other thing that I noticed as well is that you mentioned is that you, you have generations of family that have been working with your family. Yes. Um, so that's a great indicator, you know, because, you know, we are in modern days. So mm -hmm. many of those people could have just stepped away and walked away. They, they didn't have done. to. They yeah, could have done. Could have. Um, you know, hospitality industry, particularly at the moment, um, having had COVID, um, and is, is, is quite a harsh um, and rather difficult industry to find mm -hmm. people. Uh, but we're lucky because the people we have that do look after us and look after you as a result... Um, have it in their blood and they actually enjoy the job mm -hmm. um, which obviously can be very hard at times but they get a sense of belonging to crumb and a sense of usefulness to people and I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, just remind me uh, how many generations of the people that have been working with you? Um, well I, there's really only one person's family yeah, left yeah. and that's Joan, our yeah. housekeeper. Her mother was the old housekeeper here. Mm -hmm. So Joan has taken on that mantle, which yeah. is fantastic. But that family would have probably gone back 300 years mm. of, of generations looking yeah. after the Crichton family yeah. here. Which is a, a massive indicator that you yes. obviously are doing a fantastic... Well, so are they. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, there's obviously very good synergy yeah. between us all. So tell me just one thing is that, you know, obviously we've been here, we've been lucky enough to spend... The week here um, as a, an executive uh, networking event where we've had an opportunity to do storytelling, but you've also welcomed us into our home. Yeah. What is it that you are trying to do 
for yourself to keep the legacy going of this beautiful, beautiful uh, whole land. <laughs> it's well, just thank amazing. You. So. Thank you for saying that. Um, I think the most important thing is that we we're given the task, my wife Harriet and I, mm -hmm. to to do this, and it, it's a choice that I took when I was younger, mm -hmm. and Harriet has come on board as my wife. So together, we wish to remain in the house, and the mm -hmm. only way we can do that. Mm -hmm is to do events and commercial because we do not have a pot of yeah, cash yeah. like a lot of people might think we do, mm -hmm. but we don't. Um, and so everything that we earn from doing weddings, events, lets, full castle rental, mm -hmm. we even host people ourselves personally, that all goes straight into the house so that we can preserve it and, and keep it going. Okay. And is there a contact that, that you would push people towards? That's to... very kind. Um, our website is down, I'm afraid at the moment, but the email address is info, I-N-F-O, at crumbcastle.com. Yeah. But you just need to go on our Instagram, maybe, at crumbcastle, and you can send messages or email us. Um, and if you Google crumbcastle, West Wing, or crumbcastle, um, there's a whole barrage of... Of nice things to read excellent okay well thank you ever so much not for at time. all it's really been lovely meeting it. you and uh, i'm so sorry it's your last night but maybe we'll see you again oh in, I, in some way yes definitely yes. it's been fantastic so thank you again really appreciate your time not at all my pleasure and thank you to everybody right thank Good. you cheers thank